Congratulations on the victory. Kind of, uh, what was your game plan going into this fight, and, and how would you evaluate your performance? The game plan going into this fight was to, you know, do a lot of heavy pressure and grind them in the first round, and then open up second and third round and try to score a knockout. Uh, but in the very first exchange, I caught a pretty deep thumb in the eye, um, and I could not see out of the, the left eye through the remainder of the fight. So we kind of had to change up the, the game plan a little bit and keep it close quarters. Um, you know, I couldn't see where his right hand was coming from when we were on our feet, so that's just too much danger. Uh, he hits too hard. He's got a lot of experience. So <clears throat> we just kept it on the ground, keeping him in the fence, a lot of heavy elbows, a lot of big shots, try to put him out that way. Uh, Hallman was your fourth scheduled opponent going into this fight. What was what was that like? You know, it seemed like you had a new opponent every few weeks. Yeah, it was a, the whole the whole thing was a roller coaster. I mean, I was originally supposed to fight in March, and then mm -hmm. I was supposed to fight in June, and then we had three different locations for this fight, four or five different opponents for this fight. Um, Thursday night, I, I I cut a huge gash in my knee, uh, which almost cost the fight, but we just glued it up, luckily. Uh, so we could get through the weigh-ins and stuff, and no one would know about it. Uh, and we had the issue with Dennis Hallman. Had to, he, he wasn't going to be able to make weight. He was not feeling well. Uh, so 5.30 in the morning on Friday morning, he called and up to the room, and we did our own unofficial weigh-in. <laughs> we were both 175. Uh, hopefully I'll put that up on YouTube sometime. And <laughs> you'll see that. We were both 175, and he's like, he had to go to the hospital and get IVs put in. Uh, that almost cost the fight right there, but mm -hmm. we decided just to push the fight to 185. Uh, we didn't have to make, you know, make make the last push of the the the, uh, the cut. Um, saved me from having to make weight, and then and then uh, uh, him being nice and fat and happy <laughs> before the fight. So, you know, it worked out. Hopefully, uh, everybody at home enjoyed the fights, and uh, you know, hope to fight again on NBC again real soon. You, this was obviously originally supposed to be a title fight. Uh, are you looking forward to now getting that title shot with a convincing win? I, I hope so. Um, I'm hoping uh, Polaris is ready. Uh, I think the next NBC card is supposed to be in December. Okay. I'd love to fight him in December for the belt. Uh, out of all the people that have said you know they'd love to fight in December today, it seems like it could be a really good card. Would, would you be looking forward to that? I think so. I think um, you know I'm really interested in seeing how how the fans and everybody at home took took the fights uh, on NBC, how they liked them, and then hopefully. Uh, we'll keep 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 his progress and keep most momentum going. I think uh, World Series has been doing really great shows, putting really great fights together, and uh, you know the fighters and everybody have been really been pushing hard and, and throwing down in the ring. And that's what needs to happen. You know, something that Paris is really known for is is the leg locks. Mm -hmm. Holman went for a couple of the leg locks. Yeah, it's a good fight. little good yeah, little uh, practice tonight. Practice, so uh, I got some practice yeah. in there defending leg locks uh, with with Holman. And I knew you know he's a crafty guy and he's always had good good leg locks and submission stuff. So. Um, you know, it was a good little practice, a good little test run. Yeah. If Paul Horace isn't ready to go, is there, is it the Berkman uh, trilogy or maybe the Jake Shields matchup that would interest you? I mean, that's the beautiful thing right now with World Series fighting. The wealth weight, weight class is just stacked. We got lots of guys to, to fight, a lot of good fights. Um, I, I, you know, I want the belt, so my mind is on the belt. I'm just going to put out the universe that we're fighting for the belt, <laughs> you know, in, in December. And then, you know, th thoughts become things, so that's what I'm thinking. I want to hopefully make that a reality. This was your second uh, win under this banner in Florida. Do you do you like uh, fighting in Florida? What, what do you make of Florida? I've been having a good time in Florida. Yeah. You know, you know, I don't I don't mind Florida so much. Uh, I used to vacation here a lot when, with my family when I lived in Indiana. Um, I think one of the things that, that I like is um, fighting by the water. I think I really like it. I think uh, one of the best fights ever was my fight in Rio against Eric Silva, mm -hmm. and we you know we got to stay on the beach at the hotel down yeah. there in Baja. So. I think I think it kind of goes hand in hand. If I'm if I'm pretty close to the water, I can smell the ocean in the air. You're gonna get a hell of a fight out of me. Will you be staying in Florida, keeping it a little extra vacation, or are you going right back to Indiana? Um, well, we got a late flight tomorrow, but I gotta I gotta get back to uh, California, and then uh, I'm taking my my parents, my wife, and my kids. We're gonna go to uh, Hawaii on Wednesday. I got a friend getting married, so we got a little vacation time. Leave one paradise for another. Yeah. <laughs> How's your dad doing? He's doing good, really good. Dude's so tough. I mean. I thought he's been having a problem for like the last year because he had his first incident where he like kind of collapsed and had to go to the hospital like a year ago. <clears throat> and he had his position, his his uh, his uh, procedure done on Tuesday, uh, where like they shock the heart and they get the irregular heartbeat to normalize. And and uh, he's like, oh, it's like I feel so great now. It's like I I'm not dizzy anymore. I've been dizzy for like the last six years. So <laughs> he's so tough. He didn't even tell anybody. Like I thought this was like, something that's happened for the last year, but he's been 
suffering through this for, for half a decade and it didn't even bother telling anybody. You know, Independence Day weekend is always, you know, one of the biggest weekends in MMA. The World Series of Fighting kind of piggybacking off the off the UFC and stuff like that. I don't uh, think they're piggybacking uh, anything. I think yeah. I think World Series has been doing a great job mm -hmm. doing their own thing, putting on great shows, great fights, and all the fighters have been stepping up and, and, and really putting on a show. Well, do you like the uh, do you like the idea of, of kind of on days that there is a big pay per view of putting the shows a little bit earlier so fans get a full day of MMA? I I, I like the idea mm -hmm. of fighting a little bit earlier sometimes. I don't think they always have to be at, at night time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think mid midday is, is okay. It's a little bit difficult with the weigh-ins. I think we had some problems with some of the guys in the weigh-ins, yeah. but that's just uh, something in the future that has to be better planned out. We need a better sauna location, stuff like that. Um, but you know, I kind of like it. We're done. It's early. I got time for dinner. I have yeah. a few drinks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get up early. Have a few more drinks and catch <laughs> my flight. <laughs> yeah, but the to the in Independence Day thing. I mean, Thanksgiving's known for the NFL. Mm -hmm. Christmas is a basketball day. Do you think it's going to become a thing, you know, that, uh, that could 4th be, of July is going to be That could be a cool thing, yeah. I think uh, New Year's is always a big one with fights, mm -hmm. I think. And Independence Day, I could think it would be good too, you know. Uh, fire weeks, fire, fireworks outside and then fireworks in the cage. So I think it's a good idea. John, you've gotten a chance to fight a few fights now under this banner. Just what are your assessments on World Series of fighting such a young promotion but doing mm -hmm. so well? I, I love the atmosphere. I love the attitude. Everybody is, is you know, putting in their best effort uh, from, from, the, from the drivers picking us up to the, to the press people to uh, all the fighters. Everybody's throwing down and doing everything they can to uh, make this the best organization we can. Uh, and I've really been enjoying it. I think each show that I've been around, they do things a little bit better. You know, I think practice makes perfect. Hey guys, thanks.